Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's learn how to use keywords, check marks, and ratings to manage your iPhoto collection. So back in episode 212 and then in episode 215 of MacMost Now, we looked at how to use places and then faces to manage your photos in iPhoto. But you can also assign keywords or tags to any photo and you can rate them and in addition to that you can add a check mark to a photo. Let's look at how to do this. So here we are inside of iPhoto. Now if you bring up the information panel to the left, which you can do by pressing the I button at the bottom left corner, you can see the ratings and keywords. You can actually set a rating here but you can't set keywords. You can only view them. To set keywords you can do it several different ways. One is to go up to View and select Keywords or Shift Command K. This will actually add keywords as a field to the bottom of each one. Now I don't have any keywords in any of these which is why nothing appeared. But if I went ahead and added one here it would appear there and then I could see it for that one. And then I can go ahead and add one to there etc. That's one way to do it. Another way to do it is actually use Command K or Window Show Keywords and that will bring up this little keywords panel here. And then whatever picture you have selected it will highlight what keyword is selected. So here beach is selected, here water is selected. I can go ahead and add another one to this and now I've got both those keywords selected right there. Okay, so you notice in this panel there is some additional functionality. One of the things you can do is drag some of these keywords to a quick group. So for instance I can drag vacation up here and now it will appear at the top. This helps if you've got tons and tons of keywords that are added at the bottom. You can have a few very select ones that are added at the top right there. Another thing that we've got here is the little check mark. Click on that and that's kind of like a keyword that you can apply except that it also appears in the photo to the bottom right hand corner. Of course it's only in the photo in iPhoto but it's an easy way to check to see if the check mark is there. So you can tag your photos and you can select a check mark for certain photos and then you can also go down here and add a rating for any photo you want at the same time. So another thing that you can do inside the Keywords panel is click the Edit Keywords button and this will bring up the list of keywords here and you can easily add and remove them. So you can add a keyword without actually having to add it to a photo. Another cool thing you can do is you can add shortcuts. So for instance for a vacation I can go ahead and add a shortcut of V which was already there for vacation. Uh, for kids I can go ahead and add a shortcut for K and for the check mark I could even go ahead and add a shortcut for that and I could add C. Now once I do that I can actually go into these photos here and I could press C to get rid of or add the check mark. I could add vacation to that photo just by pressing V. So that's a quick easy way to do it. Okay so now that I have a bunch of keywords I can use the search box at the bottom to search by keyword. Now leaving it by the default search means that it will search descriptions, titles, places, faces and keywords. But I can switch the search to a keyword search and this will bring up these little buttons here at the bottom that list my keywords. I can select one and it will add it to it. I can select another one to add to it as well or even add a check mark and it will add things that have the check mark and that keyword there. Click the X at any time to go ahead and return to viewing all of your photos. So adding keywords to your photos helps you organize them in a way that events can't because every photo has got to be a part of one type of event. But if say you want to go and label all the landscapes, well you can't do that with faces, you can't do that with places and you can't do that in events. You simply want to go ahead and create a keyword landscape and then go through all your different events and label anything that's a good landscape. You can also go ahead and use check marks to temporarily label something. Like for instance say you and a friend are going through some photos and they see some that they want copies of. You can quickly select check marks and then once you've gone through all the photos you can then go ahead do a search by check mark and grab all those photos and export them. To get rid of check marks or to get rid of any tag all you need to do is go ahead and do a search for all of those, select them all and then get rid of that check mark or rid of that tag by selecting it again. Now you can use ratings to organize your photos by either how good they are or how important they are to you. On a typical vacation for instance you may take hundreds of photos and some of them may not be so great. It might be great to label your best photos 5 stars, some really good ones 4 stars etc. And that way if somebody comes over and wants to see your photos but you know they don't have the patience to look through hundreds of them you can just do a search and show them anything that's 4 stars and above to quickly show them the best photos you took of your last trip. 
So that's a quick look at keywords, check marks, and ratings in iPhoto. Hope you find it useful. Until next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.